<laughs> and welcome back to Cigar Time, your friendly neighborhood TV show all about premium cigars. Scott, your timing was impeccable. Uh, he's been waiting to do that. <laughs> I have. So it's like 8.30 this morning. <laughs> he's been waiting to do that. Rob. Just not nice. Your previous question before we went live. Yeah. Babylon. Yes. Thank you. Babylon. It's a very good movie. Anyway. Seven years in the Batman. Babel. No. Not Babylon. Welcome I back. It was Babel. Babylon. How was your 4th of July? in the city. It was okay. It How was, was yours? I worked. I don't know. It hasn't come yet. Kind of oh, a yeah. different movie it's with Brad Pitt. He's it's only with the his wife in the desert somewhere on a bus tour. You guys? And she gets shot. Hey, guys. Are you? Hello. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> talking about him. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're on. Yeah. All right. We're, 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 oh, what we, are we smoking some today? Some of the stuff so that we talk about on the show, you're going to worry about movie titles. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is what you guys got. This is what you pay for. So today we are smoking the CAO Gold. Oh, which right. is arguably the least exotic of the CAOs. Yes. It's a very straightforward cigar, but don't mistake that for it not being a high quality, excellent cigar. Uh, the wrapper is Ecuador, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. The filler and binder are all Nicaraguan. Um, and as a point of reference, Typically at retail, this is a $9 and change cigar in the Toro size. Mm -hmm. Although, I feel compelled to point out that at cigar cigar stores, they, they have are a box deal at half that price. That is correct. It's half off. And we've got lots of them. We have Come and get them. Yes, absolutely. I like this size. It's a thinner Toro. It's a thinner Toro, that is correct. It's a cap between a Corona and a Toro. Almost. Yeah. It's an interesting size. They call, it, they call it a Corona Gorda. I don't, I don't have the... I think Corona Gorda. We, <laughs> we threw away the, <laughs> the cellophane that, that has Check the size on it. <laughs> Go in there. Climb well, in there. down there. <laughs> <laughs> Corona Gorda. Well, does it say the size, Mike? Corona Gorda. No, I mean, does it give the dimensions? No, it does not. I don't think. Let me look forward to this. I love, uh, this is one of my favorite blends. by 48. Connecticut wrapper. With, with all Nicaraguan. All Nicaraguan. No, it just says gold Corona Gorda. I absolutely love that. And there's a lot of variation from brand to brand off that base. Mm -hmm. They don't taste the same, even though that base blend is... Mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of people use it. Like this tastes very, uh, a lot, I think, very different than the Perdomo Champagne, which is the same quote unquote blend. Yeah. Or, the Absolutely. or the My Father Connecticut, which is the same blend also. And, well, the New World. Well, the New World, I was just going to say that. And the San Latano. Actually, no, the San Latano does say, taste similar to this. And the Oliva Connecticut. <laughs> there are a lot of cigars that are based around this. Yeah. So that, yes. just, that just points out the fact that depending on where you get the tobacco in Nicaragua is yeah. how it make, make it taste. Okay. And well, how you well, ferment it. How you ferment it, yeah. And which primings you use and all of those nifty uh, variables that give you 400 million options. Oliva's exactly. not Connecticut, Connecticut? I do not believe that it is. It I could be wrong, but I don't believe okay. that it is. We were talking about that before the show. It's like, I can... Can only think of one cigar that is that uses Connecticut, Connecticut. shade that comes from Connecticut. That like we assume it's the Ashton. Rocky might. Maybe on their white. The, right, that's what I was thinking. But even even Davidoff has switched well, to all. In general, Rose Connecticut shade, they must use it on something. I don't. Do they they don't they, sell it. I know that when I was up, I went up there with Altidus, and they stopped growing it. Everything they grew up there was uh, broadleaf. Broadleaf. Well, the demand and the price return on broadleaf can be much better than <coughs> shade, which used to be the other way around. It used mm -hmm. to be good Connecticut shade was just about the most expensive wrapper you could buy. Although That's there are, there are some people who don't charge more for the Maduro. That's true. Like general. They don't charge more for a Maduro. Oh, they, they just upcharge for Connecticut. Oh, yeah, they upcharge for the Connecticut, right? But no, they they just they should though. I mean, it's a longer process. takes takes more man hours and stuff to, to take care of. Yeah, I don't know why. 
could argue with one of the they're biggest wheeling, cigar companies in the world. They're wheeling you in. One of? One of. Well, they keep buying people. Yeah, they're going <laughs> to be the biggest. So are there any others you can think of? No. Use it? <coughs> no. I mean. And I'm not convinced. You're not convinced that the Ashton is, right? I, maybe the Monte Cristo he was saying, the vintage Connecticut. That, that, so that one does. That one does. That one does. I'm, I guess I'm thinking of stuff that we actually have. Other than the Ashton Classic? You're talking the Classic, right? Not yeah. The, okay. Although, what's the... Is the... Cabinet? Is the cabinet? I think it's the same wrapper, isn't it? I, th I think so, but I think it's, it's like aged for it's five age. years instead of It's It's two a total years, three from years. the time they plant the... The time they plant the seed to the time it goes into the box is seven years. Is that what it is, seven years? Yeah. So, I don't know. That's why they charge more money, obviously. It takes a long time. No, it's not why. It's why. Because well, somebody else makes it. Somebody else makes it, and it's... Anyway. You looking it up, Paul? Yep. While we're well, doing that, Moose, give us your first impression. Smooth, tasty, good ash on it. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of smoke production I'm getting, but... No? Maybe I'm not puffing <laughs> you it You should enough. sit over here. <laughs> Up to the ring in round one. And they're off. Scott. I'm getting Fuente Chateau. Really? Really. Connecticut, Connecticut. Well, and if you think about it, it's the same as the Aston. Same as the Aston, yeah. Um, it's cr I find it creamy. I get a little bit of uh, like a white pepper, like a little bit of spice on the tip of my tongue, and I'm getting a little bit of uh, citrus. I'll call it, or something tangy. Mm -hmm. Going on, but I'm this is. I mean, I'm a quarter inch in. Yeah. San Cristobal Elegancia, but that's Ashton. Yeah, um, I'm getting a nutty taste to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and and the, and the creaminess you guys are getting also. Any spice? A little bit of spice on the the tip of my tongue. I had a. I I, I attribute that to the the pepper that most Nicaraguan tobacco has. Yeah. But it's not an overpowering. I don't. I don't get the the cocoa taste. It's more taste. like a black pepper than a white pepper. Yes, it's, it's a nice, easy, gentle. Or a red pepper. Macanudo Cafe. I was wondering about that. Nub, Connecticut. Huh. Okay. Well, there you go. Yeah. And actually, although I think he's working on growing his own Connecticut, Nick uses uh, on the tent on the champagne. He uses a Connecticut, Connecticut. Really? But not on the bourbon barrel aged. I don't think so. Really? Interesting. I'll have to verify that. Please do. I know, you're just reading it off the internet, so. That's gotta be true. Uh, what, what, are your first, what are your first impressions? My first impression is three things. And that's wood, nuts, and a little bit of cream. There is pepper, but it's really, really light and mostly mid tongue, not front or back. Mm hmm. Boy, mine's okay. up front. Well, me too. So mine's up front also. You smoke so much Paul's cigars, the tip of your tongue's longer. Paul's tongue's longer, Paul's yeah. tongue's longer so yeah, it's naturally, <laughs> it's, you know, naturally, yeah, he's I, very I happy. I auditioned for Kiss, but it wasn't quite long enough. Yeah, that's right. This is an overlooked cigar in our humidor. Mm -hmm. It really is. I am not having an issue with smoke production. Well, I'm not now either, but okay. I was before. It opened up. Yeah. What you were saying? It's an overlooked cigar. Um, people are always seeing what's new, what's new. And this is definitely not a new cigar. It's well, one it's of also your old ones. Yeah, it's actually, you know what? This is not. It's the, also over the black is the first. We only one. have one size. That is true. That's because we the size that's old. Right. But yeah, we, we we used to. I know we used to have. We used to have the, had the, the robustos. The robusto, yeah. And I believe some stores had torpedo. Yes. We also had it in the Maduro, which didn't sell at all. Which I think is better than this. I, I thought it did sell, but uh, I, don't, I haven't looked. But. I find this to be a cigar that'd be great on a Sunday morning with a newspaper and a cup of mm -hmm. coffee. Absolutely. Sure. First thing in the morning, definitely. Sunday morning, no. It's got to be Sunday morning. Okay. <laughs> Bigger paper. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah. It's a lot more money, though, that's for sure. I don't 
going on. I looked at the price of paper anymore, or newspapers. I was into Wawa, and somebody bought the Sunday paper, and I was astonished by how much it was. Five? I can't. I can't remember what it was. It was something like ridiculous. I'm like, really? what? I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Cost of ink's up. <laughs> the cost of ink. It's crazy. Plus, all of those mass market cigars are using up all the paper. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is. You know, it's funny that you know, given that Father's Day was just this past weekend in real time, um, you definitely get a different clientele, and it's amazing. It's. A, I heard several customers said, "Oh, I didn't know that was. I thought it was some kind of paper." Uh, I mean, well, I don't. They're not cigar smokers, so why would they? Why would they, why they, would know? they know? Um, and I've I've always I've, I've since we've since we've been in business I've heard a lot of people refer to the you know the paper refer to the paper papers yeah or a box a or a box a case yes that's the biggest that's my biggest pet peeve no, actually it's not my biggest pet peeve but it's one of them my huh? biggest is still Olivia because we hear that more than Olivia. any other mistake. You selling cow. Olivia's cow? No, I don't hear. I don't, don't hear, hear cows that as much anymore. Yeah. I, I used to. I don't hear. That's C A O, by the way, but people call it cow. I don't sometimes. hear David off much anymore. I used to get David off a lot. <laughs> Shut up. Um, yeah, Olivia cigars. I'm, I'm getting a a distinct finish on this that's smooth and also. Um, like I, I get Zambuca and Anisette mixed up, but it has like that that you know how that has that lingering finish, almost like a, a not the licorice flavor, but the licorice finish that just holds mm -hmm. on your tongue. Okay. I'm yeah, like, like Anisette. I think like I get Anisette. Anisette and Zambuca mixed up. I don't know which is which. Which everyone's not dying when I like better. Well, they're, <laughs> they're spelled differently. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's my problem. <laughs> it could be. Nice Isn't Anisette a spice and Sambuca a drink? No, they're both drinks. Anisette is made from star it's anise. It's liquid. Yeah. And Sambuca is made from... They make great pizzelles. Some other stuff. <laughs> Put anise in a pizzelle. It's awesome. In a what? In a pizzelle. What's a pizzelle? Really? You never had those? It's the... It looks like a really it looks thin like a, wafer cookie. It looks, always have a it looks like a waffle, but it's real thin. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm You've right. had them. I've probably had them you on had an airplane. Do you give them out sometimes on no. airplane? No. I, an airplane. I've never heard they're of them. They're like they're like they're mostly like around they're mostly like around Christmas. Like a wafer thin. Excuse me. Excuse thing? the infidel. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. I am the I, don't, I don't know if it's just Italian or not, but I I mean I grew up with them, but no, so did I. I thought it was German. No, I, I don't know. The Germans it, have their own version too, but it's not called a pitzel. Pitzel. You put anise thing. in it. Huh. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, you could. Yeah, when you eat the cook, you can. It's clear yeah. that that's in there. I like Absolutely. to dip a biscotti in anise. There you go. Nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. I could dip a coffee you bean. To, you have to dip any biscotti because it's too hard to chew. <laughs> <laughs> You might lose teeth. You know what? Let yeah, I have. Rob, last week you were you had asked about. Uh, I don't you're know, you're dying to tell me this, but again, <laughs> government affairs. And, yes, and something. And you said there. you read something. I think it was that um, they did pass that uh, tax cap of uh, fifty percent. Sorry, fifty cents in Nevada. Okay. It was. It was. It's currently well, not as of the show, but as of the recording, the tax is thirty percent. Um, and on, on July 1st, it's moving to 50 cents. So I, th I think that's what you're referring to. And actually, I, I, was, I was reading about that. This is the, th it's actually the third time this year that a uh, state has uh, passed a cigar cap, um, which, is, which is great news for those states. It's not as good as Pennsylvania, but yeah. uh, Idaho capped it at 50 cents also, and Montana capped theirs at, at 35 cents. So... It, it has been demonstrated multiple times in multiple states that when you raise cigar taxes, you lose revenue, but when you put a cap on it, you gain revenue. Yeah. I don't understand. Why don't they just make it 50 cents? Like tax 50 cents. Well, like cents. a flat tax across flat tax all of 50 cents, yeah. 
Well, I guess because, well, it's 50% of... It's because well, for, it's for lower, it's for, it's for less expensive cigars is what it is. Well, we don't sell anything for less than a dollar, do we? Do we have anything that's like 99 cents? I'm just saying. No, not Maybe even the Little Max. The Little, no, Max. The little Max come out under, over But Little, the little Max After aren't taxes. taxed. Little Max aren't taxed. The, the, the only thing that we have taxed really is the the Excalibur I mean, mini cigarettes. Not even the, not even the regular cigarettes. They're not just taxed. The just the mini, the, the mini too, I guess. Well, but we don't carry those anymore. Oh. Hmm. And we used to get the Romeo mini, the red, white, yeah. and the blue ones. Okay. Um, so so yeah, so that's good news. Uh, the, the bad news is that um, can't have one without the other mm -mm. well uh, it, well this is actually it's actually good news but it, it's um, not so much good news no, it's good but it's it, it's reminiscent of like how bad things were is that in Sh Shreveport Louisiana they're repealing a smoking ban in casinos but why they put one in the first place but now that's good news it, exactly but it's reminiscent of I mean they did it in the first place is bad but you know in I think in Delaware they still have a, you can't smoke in cigar stores. Yeah. I, I remember I, I went to uh, St. Michael's and uh, I walked into a cigar store there and I'm like, can I light this up? And he's like, no. <laughs> I'm like, the, the, why are you here? <laughs> Basically. Yeah. I well, mean, more importantly, why were you there if you can't smoke? Well, I didn't know. I figured it's a cigar store. You can just go in and smoke a cigar. And Seems reasonable. Although they, they did have a nice deck outside you can sit, like a front porch. I like can mm -hmm. sit out there and smoke it. But it, I, I'm like, yeah. But he's like, no, you can't smoke it here. I'm like, you got to be kidding what's me. The what's the point of what's it? What's the thought process that, that, like, what's the reasoning behind can't smoke a cigar in a cigar shop? Uh, health reasons, I, ass I suppose. Uh, that's the only the thing. Health reasons for who? The employees. The employees. Okay, I, that that would but be the only reason I, I get think I of. I get that, but, but it's also the same thing for do, for restaurants. If you don't like it, don't work there. And I don't, you know, you assume the like, assumed risk. Would a, would a vegetarian work in a steakhouse? No, probably not. So would somebody who doesn't like cigar smoke work in a cigar shop? So how? So I mean, uh, how many people do you think are employed in cigar shops in the country? I don't know. Five thousand. Twenty. Twenty thousand. That's my guess. And how many of those do you suppose don't do it because they like cigars? <coughs> and no. I'm talking. I'm not talking like right. convenience stores that have it, or well, even we have it here. Even <laughs> just people who don't smoke cigars here. I got one that works for me. <laughs> Byron. Byron. Byron doesn't smoke cigars. Did he used to? Yeah. Well, but okay. he doesn't anymore. <coughs> so but that's okay, never but, right. But still, I mean. The reason I work here is like, oh, cool. He can smoke cigars. Yeah, he smokes cigars. <laughs> That's right. It's one of the perks anyway. I smoke yeah. cigars in my car, my house, and it works. It's a beautiful thing. In fact, I'll forget I'm smoking a cigar when I'm in the car and I have to get out and go to a store. Yeah, you I'll forget get to, to I'll get it. just to the front door and go, damn, I'm going to yeah. walk all the way back to the car, put the <laughs> cigar back. It's, <laughs> it's funny. I see people outside smoking a cigar before they come in or and, and they put it out. Or cigarettes. People like women who come in hmm. or... Yeah, not too well, many I guys. Don't, I don't mind but if anybody puts well, out a cigarette before they yeah, come in. I understand that, but I'm like, you can smoke in here. <laughs> like, women will come in to buy something. Like, for especially for Father's Day. Like, recently I, s I saw it. Mm -hmm. They would wait to put it to put it out. I'm like, you don't have to do that. <laughs> so, Just I mean, I'm glad. Like you said, I'm glad they do because cigarette smells horrible, horrible. Yeah, I don't. And then, oh, by the same token, you get p women who come in here and say, "Oh, I love the smell of cigars." Yep. Yes. Because it reminds them of, of their grandfather, their grandfather right. or their husband or their their father, or right? Whatever. Yeah. yeah. And then I always said, "Yeah, have you ever heard anybody say I love the smell of a good cigarette?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 But a good cigar, yes. So the I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Thank yeah. You. <laughs> it smells like victory. victory. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's actually good news. Yeah, I decided to cross out the really bad news. Okay. There is really bad news. We don't have time because you know I'm going to get upset, right? Well, it's the, the New York Health Department in April uh. started a, uh, they're, they're doing a survey to, to um, judge the, what's the word, I'm, what was the word they used? They're trying to gauge the support they would get for a tobacco ban in New York. 
<laughs> so, talk, so I guess they're talking to the public and saying, would you be in favor of a tobacco ban? Like all tobacco? I, I, I didn't like get it. Tobacco is a pretty broad statement, so she probably is all tobacco. Yeah. That's... It won't fly. It well, it's just, it's just a survey to, to, to gauge the, you know, the, the support they get. The survey will fly. Yes. But the idea won't fly. And the survey says... I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I'm just... I mean, who, I, I have no faith I wanna, in I, I people like, making ask more, gotta ask more questions. You can't... That's just a too broad of a statement. Why? Wh what's it for? What's the question for? I mean, are you trying to ban yeah. tobacco? Yes. That, was the, that in, was the purpose. In New York. Correct. That's just ridiculous. Do you know how much revenue they would lose? An uh, enormous amount. Enorm yeah, there are already in d uh, dire straits with, uh, with being uh, over budget. And then they're going to take in less money? <laughs> no. Besides, at 75% no. tobacco tax, New York virtually has a smoking ban. In any anyway, event. right, yeah. Well, it's cigar anyway. Yeah, they go to Jersey, though, so they only have to pay 30%. Yeah. And then people from Jersey go to Pennsylvania, so they don't have to pay any percent. Oh, we, get a, we get a ton of people from New York coming to our New Hope and Peddler's Village. Yes. Village yes. So. I get a well, lot of Oxford Valley too. gets a lot of Jersey. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What'd you say, Moose? I get a lot of out-of-staters that uh, come into the King of Prussia store. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's a that's tourist. A tourist. Yeah. The whole oh, mall big is, time. Yeah, yeah, big time. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's that's a shopping crazy. destination. It is. I'm still getting that. It's almost like a numbing feeling from the. Why? Less, less a flavor of spice, but more a numbing sensation in the mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, just oh yeah. I'm getting a grassy taste now. I'm not in getting the, that, but I'm getting more of the cream up front and more of the wood on the finish. Okay. For a simple cigar, with straightforward flavors. Kind of it's actually complex. Complex, yeah. Maybe that's the flavor I'm getting is kind of wood. Wet wood. I mean, it does smell different than dry. It does. It's like a dog. <laughs> yes. You don't want a cigar that smells like wet dog. No, but he's, I'm just saying. <laughs> wet hot dog. Maybe. Hot dogs. Hot dogs? What? <laughs> you, you said hot dogs. I said dog. They're, no, you they're didn't. babbling idiots. <laughs> well. Today. I'm just I shouldn't say today. today. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, it's, it's just present moment. <laughs> How about the strength? <laughs> what strength? Exactly. Yeah, yeah no, I, I give it a one. A one. Uh, yeah. yeah. Maybe. Maybe one. Maybe because has a little bit of spice there. A little bit. Yeah. It's it's a it's a really good early morning cigar. It's pretty straightforward too. It's not bland. No, not the at all. The strength is mm -hmm. low, but the flavor there's plenty of flavor. Mm -hmm. It reminds me a little of the Pearl de Mar, Connecticut, which I I think that's I, I love that cigar. It's got this. It's the same basic uh, blend with the Connecticut and the Nicaraguan inside. I forgot how good this is. It's very good. Yeah. Very tasty. Do you guys think that the cigar? What do they call? Them? They use to unplug a cigar. Punch. No, no. Those no, the metal rods. Uh, the poker. Oh, yeah. the poker. Yeah, yeah. Draw yeah. poker. That's that's what's called. Uh, uh, they don't work. <laughs> they do work. They do work, but no, nine but times they, out of ten, you don't get straight cigar. into it, and it comes out the bottom if or the top. If you use the rack, well, you have, you have to use the you rack. Need the, you just need to the use poker. the rack. You, need to use you can't the rack. just. You can't Put him on the rack, master, please. You've got, to, you've, right. got to do, you've got to put it in each one of those holes, but it's still. I think it. I. I don't think they work. That well, it's still it's, it's still tight, and it changes the flavors of the cigar because the airflow changes. I forget which company it was, but there was a company that rolled cigars with a straw, a very thin straw, almost like a coffee stirrer yeah. in the middle. And when they were done, they'd pull it out. Oh I, God, I remember nightmare. hearing that. How many of those do you think were, they forget to pull out? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, th I'm well, saying like five percent. But it was. It was sticking out of the, the foot, so you could pull it out anyway. I don't like those pokes. Somewhere, you, somewhere you along do. the process, I think somebody was smart enough to go, oh, I shouldn't put that in the cellophane. The poker's still in there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't See, know. I don't like those pokers. I, I have a little more faith in humanity than you do, obviously. Well, when you put it in, you can hear the, the twigs breaking. 
why is the why is it always plugged here and not like up here? Well, that's a it's Paul question. Uh, we, a, you know, we did talk about that before. It's a Paul band. question. Well, usually that's where they stick the small pieces that they cut off. They mm. don't want to put it at either end, and dead center is sort of unbalanced. So there's more likely to be a void around here. So that's where they stick the extra tobacco. So then it feels plugged there. Yeah. Well, there, there you go. go. That's a vicious so that was a completely wrong. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Moose, let's do uh, our final review and put a number on it. Boy, that was fast. It was. Uh, I get most of this, the stuff everybody said. Mm -hmm. um, the hay or grass, I, I'm picking that up now. Um, I'd give it a nine. Okay. Paul? Well, I, I'm enjoying this cigar. It doesn't fit my typical profile, right? but I'm enjoying it anyway. Uh, I love how well it's made. Mm -hmm. I would only smoke it, generally speaking, in the morning. Mm -hmm. I give it an eight, nine, five. I like, I like yeah. smoking a, a cigar like this or a milder cigar sometimes after having a fuller body. Yeah. Sometimes I think it brings out the flavors more. Well, that's actually what I do. You know, my first cigar is at 5.30 in the morning. I walk the dog and smoke. And usually that will be the strongest cigar I smoke all day. Yeah. I just, it's like having a strong cup of coffee in the morning. You right. Like, you kick your palate off. Yeah, but, but, yeah, I just, I think it, I don't know, I think it brings the flavor out somehow. Okay. Um, but I, 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 it's a good cigar. Um, the creaminess, the nuts, I think I'm starting to get the hay, but the, what's becoming overpowering for me is the citrus flavor. And, uh, or not flavor, but. You know what I mean. Hint. It's a hint of citrus is is, is it's no dominant. Longer, it's it's no dominating longer, it's, yeah, everything. Yeah, it's no longer a hint. It's more like you just squeeze the orange and it's <laughs> yeah, it's there. Um, and it's it's more of a sensation. It's that you know on the, the edge of your tongue. Uh, I give it an eight five. Okay. So just a reminder, if you uh, if you go look for this cigar in a typical retail environment, it's going to be about nine dollars. But if you go to Cigar Cigars and buy a box, it comes out less than five. It's less than five. It's under a hundred bucks. Yeah, um, I get a lot of the stuff. I'm also getting a vanilla extract taste. I'm just now getting. Yeah, that. further into the cigar, I'm getting that. So I, I'd, I'd give this a nine, maybe a nine, one five. And if Art was here to put price in his calculation, he'd probably give uh, it a nine five. And you know what? Art's not here. So. So there. Yes. I just well, we have uh, mention him. the makers of the cigar. We have uh, a general cigar. General. We have an event with them uh, tomorrow in Lancaster from one to five, and then Downingtown three to seven. Okay. Now, uh, yeah. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now, Smoke everybody. Smoke